My Brilliant Friend takes place in post-World War II Naples. It opens in this deeply patriarchal Italian society that is still very much in the process of rebuilding after World War II. The first time I read the books, I thought we are talking about the center of Naples, which is fascinating. It's Baroque. But if it's the center of Naples, and then you have the sea in front of you all the time. Why don't you give me this, Omar? My mom might take a look at us, but I don't agree. So how they don't know the sea? There are kids coming from Rione Luzzatti, a suburb of Naples. It's like new houses built in the middle of nothing. It's a place with no meanings, no charm. This neighborhood shapes the way they see the world. It is violent, rough, and scary at times. Women who are really silent witnesses of violence. <laughs> violence inside the family and in the society. Women were expected to hew to those basic roles. You will be a mother, a wife, and a housekeeper. La descrizione del quartiere che si fa nei romanzi è straordinariamente fedele. Alla fine della guerra, in quella zona sorse una baraccopoli. So it's a very different perception of what we know about Naples. No. Our stage was the Rione. But let's not make something miserable, because they are miserable. Let's try to make something noble. L'idea era stata subito quella di ricostruire il grande quartiere. Il problema grande è dove trovare una piattaforma così grande per poter ricostruirlo interamente. Giancarlo was amazing. He made this place that seems useless and meaningless, fascinating. As a fan of the books, I cannot believe how close we were able to hew to the vision that you read about on the pages and then watch them come to life. <laughs>